Hi, it's Lenan. And I am outside because I'm talking about nature today. Have you ever thought about nature being part, part of your plan to relieve pain? Because actually there's a lot of ways it can it can help. Have you ever noticed that maybe you feel a lot better in warm weather? You feel a lot better when you're outside? It could be because of some things in nature that are helpful for you. Um, spending time in green spaces. Uh, take just sitting and um, walking if you have a park near you it's just a distraction of paying attention to what's around you smelling the roses as they say those are ways that can help you to um, distract from the pain and kind of relax you and when you're relaxed your pain is much better Grounding is, uh, I've, ta I've talked about grounding before, but grounding is a great way. So you take off your shoes and socks and get your feet right on the ground. And there's a vibration in the earth that is very helpful for um, calming your body down and putting your body into the same vibration as the earth. And that is a healing type of vibration. Just smelling things, uh, engaging in looking at things is again as a distraction shifting your way mindfulness and, and meditation and i'm going to suggest using um when you sit in and by for example you can probably hear the water in the background because i am sitting beside the um uh, the lake here in the background just listening to those and hopefully you can hear the birds too so just paying attention to the sounds and just listening to the the lap of the waves can be really relaxing listening to the birds bird songs are very relaxing paying attention to that there's studies that show that it is very um uh very helpful in helping really reduce anxiety and paranoia it, it just is uh the studies have shown that just listening in a comfortable taking deep breath it's like a meditation really is what it's like in tuning in to the different um birds of different sounds and just letting go of all your stress and just listening to the birds it's a very calming um, way of of enjoying the nature um what else can we do so practicing mindfulness and meditation as i just said that's part of it just even uh, listening to if you can be near water just listening to the waves um, is very helpful too because it's kind of it's hypnotic hypnotic in a way because it's just wave after wave after wave and you can just do it and some people do it with um using um it as washing away or just sitting with your feet in there and letting your troubles get washed away now another one that's really interesting is forest bathing and that just means walking in the forest and being around trees and uh, I think you can see the trees there behind me I'm sitting against a hedge which is cedar so that's a very calming it helps you with a focus it's very relaxing and it releases a bunch of chemicals in your body such as a uh, feel-good ones actually the serotonin the uh, endorphins as you do the, sit in the trees in amongst the trees it's actually a uh, Japanese practice as well just for history walking through the trees we were in um i think it was vermont we were one time and they actually had a big forest and the trees were huge there were fir trees and they were absolutely huge and they had a spot that you could sit and just lay back in a chair and walk look at the trees and breathe in the aroma and they showed the studies there of how how it does relax you brings up the serotonins and the all the feel good hormones so that you you feel much more relaxed after you leave now if you don't happen to be near a forest and can't do that then one of the things you can do is diffuse tree oils like cedar wood any of the fir oils and any of the spruce oils are all very uplifting oils and very relaxing as well have you tried using uh, ice baths? I have gone to a spa where you go um, from one type of water to a little warmer water to a little warmer water to a hot water. And then you go from there into a uh, 
ice cold water you dip in there and now it, it takes a little practice to get in there and get in there but you know you feel really good and then you can go into a sauna so that the temperature changes in your body are supposed to be really good for you and it's a scandinavian um, type of therapy now you can do um, just the cold therapy there is uh, cold water therapy that you can do and and that's just really uh, getting yourself up into 15 minutes of uh, cold water or cold showers, whatever works for you. And why that works is because what happens is uh, as soon as you hit, the cold hits and your your blood vessels uh, contract and go to your vital organs and pushing all the stuff there. And if you have any pain or inflammation, and inflammation often causes pain, that helps to reduce that because, as you know, if you have the injury to any area, they always suggest using ice packs or cold, or cold compresses on that area. And that's to help re reduce the inflammation so that the um, blood flow. And then when you come out, then immediately all the blood flows back into that area, giving new oxygen, new, new, new nutrients to that area. And that's why it works so well in doing that and they suggest doing it up to oh th three times not any more than three times a week and doing it up maybe 15 minutes if you can manage that it's probably better if you do it work up gradually and I noticed that when I was at the spa we were there for uh, the full day so I, I did it two or three times that day and the long the, the at the, the last time I did that I could stay in longer because your body was a little bit more used to it so I'm um probably you can do that. Now I have tried doing the showers at home uh, and sometimes it works and I mean, well, of course it works. It's just that it's, it's a little getting used to in the shock of it. Now I'm at the lake and it is cold water here. So getting right into it does give you a little shock to the body, but once you get into it, it is actually good. And I feel really good after it. And probably that's why I always feel good at it and why I enjoy being at the cottage so much is because I do have all these things that I can do. Like I can, I have the trees, I have the ground where I can, and I do walk around on my bare feet all the time. I have the cold water that I can get into and I have flowers and other aroma things around. And of course, lots of birds to listen to. So nature between either can be as a distraction from your pain or can actually relieve some of your pain and oh the biggest one is the sun i forgot to mention that sitting in the sun for 15 minutes i'm not in the sun right now because it wrecks with the um camera on the computer but sitting in the sun 15 minutes a day uh, gives um, helps your body absorb vitamin d and when you absorb vitamin d it has a lot of effects to the uh, chemical responses in your body for the endorphins, the feel good chemicals that in our body, which help all of those help to relieve the pain and reduce stress in our body. So um, that's another one that's very helpful as well sitting there. So there's lots of reasons to enjoy the good weather. And if you're in an area where you can uh, do all of that, that's awesome. And if not, you can diffuse some essential oils to help. And I, if you need any help in any of those areas, just like give me a message me and happy to help you. Have Follow me and have an awesome day.